love in life. It's coffee, food, and coffee. And that order. She hates to be alone. You have to take your shoes off. Japanese custom. <clears throat> Come in. Uh, so I've got right now. I'm reading three books right now. I've got a. I don't know how to pronounce it. Nabokov, invitation to a beheading. It's kind of weird. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I think it was. I think it was originally in one language and translated into English, but I could be wrong. And then I've got a uh, film production technique, creating the accomplished image, third edition. This is actually written by my teacher. I had him as a teacher. I don't think I was a very good student. I don't know if he remembers me, but I'm planning on buying a, a, a Bolex when I get back to Minneapolis and relearning how to uh, shoot footage on my own. I'm a big fan of Soderbergh, so I'm hoping that... You know, the more that you know about everything, the better you can communicate with people who are doing it. Um, but yeah, back in 90, from 95 to 90, to 99, I think, I went to school, and so it's been a while. And then here we have another book. Uh, Glamorama, Brad Easton Ellis. I like his <laughs> So yeah, I kind of bounce back and forth between different types of books, because it, it just keeps things interesting. Um... Vitamins, it's good stuff. This isn't mine. Pens are good. Too fresh. Uh, Matt went shopping once and he bought me two records. Well, ben Folds Action. And uh, some bands from Minneapolis. We found uh, there's Cadillac Blindside, great band, and Ant 176, some of the first bands we ever toured with found it somewhere and uh, bought it for me. So, yeah, you know, I don't know, it's not the, is it earplugs? I um, usually, I'll get up and I'll have like a pot of coffee and then I'll, uh, let's see what happens next. And sometimes I'll steal food that I'm not supposed to eat like ice cream or chocolate or anything that's good fun. Um, from other people in the refrigerator and then I'll either read a few like you know a few pages of a book or watch my Netflix usually a foreign film I have to watch foreign films in the morning because everyone sleeps so I just turn on the subtitles and turn off the sound or I'll watch it on my computer like Netflix or, or something and then after a while I'll read some more then maybe I'll eat a real meal and then I'll go exercise, come back, eat catering. Then I'll usually watch an episode of 24 to get psyched and pumped for the show. And then I'll warm up, do the vocal warm ups, stretch a little bit, play the show. And then after the show, come back and usually watch more 24 and, um, and then read. So I don't usually leave the bus. I usually sleep. I usually sleep with one eye open just so, you know, I can see if people are coming at me from, from any different angle. I learned it from <clears throat> the professional, John Renault. Look at that. Sometimes I sleep like this. Yeah. Do you, do you always sleep with your uh, curtain open? No, I usually sleep with it shut. But sometimes it gets warm, so then I open it, but then people walk by and they look in because they're jealous because I have the best bunk so it's kind of like a it's like a double-edged sword it's like do I am I uncomfortable and warm or do I have all eyes on me at, at all times and but be comfortable it's it's kind of tough <laughs>